The sport of endurance recently lost a great friend and patron of both horses and riders. Barney Fleming touched thousands of endurance riders in his various roles, including ride manager, endurance vet, and past president of the AERC. I got to know Barney well during his years at Deming, New Mexico, where he hosted the Around the Mountain Endurance Ride on his ranch at the base of the Florida Mountains. This multi-day event was always a ride favorite of Southwest endurance riders. Barney loved the sport and he worked tirelessly to help us understand how to protect and improve our horses. I'm here with Barney together. Fleming. Barney, together with his wife Linda, are managing this ride. And uh, you know, this multi-day thing takes endurance to it a whole new level. Five days, Barney. How many riders do you think you're going to have that are riding all five days? Well, let's see. We're we're looking at 30 that are that are wanting to complete the the five day, My which right. is a good number. That you know don't want to handle a whole lot more than that, but that's a very doable thing. That uh, I've never done a multi day, and, and I'm going to try to ride two of the five days. Good. But to ride day after day for five days really shows what these horses can do if they're properly prepared. I mean, it's really what's kind of got me um, really intrigued with the sport and watching those horses actually get better during the five-day period of time. They get stronger. I even see some horses actually gain weight. Of course, normally in a 24, 48-hour period of time, they're going to lose some weight, and some of these horses can lose as much as 10% of their weight without, and that's another thing we do. We weigh these horses, and we have a set of scales that, that, so we can kind of monitor that. But they'll get stronger, and I think the trick is they learn how to eat and drink, and they know what's going to happen the next day and everything else. Then you take one of these poor multi-day horses to a one-day ride, and it goes, what? <laughs> we're, we're, we're going home? <laughs> yeah. so, so it's really neat. And, and the riders as well, you know, for them to endure that, mm -hmm. you know, day after day. And, to spend anywhere from six hours to 12 hours in some cases out there. So. I think that's the reason I don't want to do multi-days. It's, it's, I'm not worried about my horse. I'm just not sure I'm up to it. Personally, I think it's, the, it's, it's, what, it's what endurance people would set as their goal, um, uh, the majority of them, because it's, the, you know, it's not the speed thing so much. It's the, it's the accomplishment. His keen mind and natural curiosity set about researching endurance horses, their weight, and their metabolism. Barney even did a study of electrolytes and their effect on horses. And he offered low cost blood work taken before and after the event. He tabulated this long term study and made the results available to anyone interested. His loving wife, Linda, was often found at his side helping whatever project Barney was involved in at the time. Barney also realized that ulcers had an important effect on endurance horses performance and he bought a scope and began to study ulcers. Barney would also travel to endurance events and lend his experience and skill in his capacity as a ride vet. I think many new ride vets learned a lot about how to be an effective and fair vet by watching Barney work. Barney loved this sport and the people and the horses involved. I will always have fond memories of this dedicated champion of the sport of endurance. His passing leaves a big hole in the hearts of many of us who knew him. I'm giving you a chance. I'm not going to say